part way through our journey today, we're going to want to stop and refuel slightly. Um, quite a light bite to eat, so that they're not too heavy when they get to the game. Uh, but something that's going to help fuel them through um, part of our fixture this afternoon will be good. Um, also, we want to stop uh, to let them sort of move around a little bit. If they're sat down for quite a long period of time, then they start to get a little bit stiff, a little bit tired, a little bit stagnant, and we want to keep them fresh, ready, so that when we get there, we can get changed, get out onto the pitch and perform. The journeys can be used for positive purposes as well, so it's good for team morale, it's good to sort of build that social side of things, and uh, we like to think that on, on those journeys that the players get to know each other a little bit better, and uh, that will hopefully reflect on the pitch as well in their performance. There's lots of things that go into preparing them for a game, and it's the sort of the sports science stuff around uh, nutrition, psychology, as well as the sort of the coaching and the performance elements which are important to making them play well. It was a little bit disappointing to lose last week, um, but we feel that coming away from home is, gives us an opportunity to go and impose ourselves onto a new team in the league and uh, show them what the WSL is all about. to put things right ready for today. Uh, girls have all worked hard, a um, few swaps and changes but yeah everyone's uh, raring to go. It's been a mindset that we need to put it right today, the girls all know that, they've all been prepared for that so we've just got to get out there and uh, score a few more goals and hopefully put better performances in. Start the season you want to get three points on the board, you don't want to keep it zero points too long but yeah three points would be uh, delightful. We've had new management in, new coaches so we're still building, we're still learning so hopefully in the next five or six weeks we'll start really adapting to how they want us to play. But it's, it, it's not short term goals, it's more long term. So towards the end of the season we should be playing exactly how they want us to play. We had a brilliant week of training, so the prep was all there. Um, I think every player felt felt good on the coach down, really good kind of team cohesion. And I think we all believed that we were going to start the game really well. And it didn't happen, and I think we didn't pick ourselves up quick enough. It took us to go a goal down or even get to half time to actually kind of start the second half and have a better performance, better attitude, application. We worked harder together, we won more first balls and stuff. Uh, I mean, first off, we weren't close enough to players. It allowed them to, to go on the attack. Um, second half was a different, a different picture really. I think we had, we had our chances. We were the better team second half. We actually created a lot more chances. We are a lot more attacking. We're on the front foot this time. Um, and we were more proactive rather than reactive like we were in the first half. I think we were all really, really trying. Um, the attitude and, and things were there. The quality of the pass probably, probably wasn't there. And I think at times we didn't do the things that we actually practiced in training and stuff that we set out to do today in the game plan, in the tactics, and I think that we should listen to the coaches more to actually do what we've been asked to do. We knew that we had the outlet being uh, Bethan on the left-hand side, and I think we used her, probably we could have used her a lot more, but I think 1v1 on that side, I think we had the beating of, of their right-back, so I think like, we just need to use our assets more and kind of identify what's working a lot quicker and keep doing it. You know, if we miss a chance, everyone misses a chance, then we need to get round the, round the player and, and pick them up so they're ready for the next one and they're fresh for the next one. The ball, ball went through all over the top, um, 1v1 with the keeper. She, she, I mean, she was quite a way out when she was 1v1, so she had to take touches, which I guess as a player, it makes you, the more time you have, the more nervous you get. The goalkeeper did well, she spread herself well, and I think any other day it, it, it would have got in, but it just wasn't the day for, for us. The brilliant chances that she had, and other people had a lot of chances, but more importantly, we had to stop goals scored against. We literally set them up twice today, um, and it's through our own errors rather than good play from them. Um, it's stuff that we really need to cut out. I know it's early on in, early on in the season, but we want to pick up some points. We haven't picked 20 points yet, so they're the sort of things that we have to cut out early. We learn from our mistakes, we learn from the things that we did today, but we don't kind of go into next week with the burden of we've got to score, we've got to win, we've got to um, like do those things because I think we work, we, we'll work on things in training Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday and Thursday. We'll put things in place, we'll get into a really good place uh, with the team, we'll be really positive and we'll do everything we can to put a plan in place and structure in place for the next Sunday's game against Sheffield. Yeah.